A big turning point in my career was starting to play in a tribute band called The Iron Maidens. Fear of the Dark was my record, and that was the first one I heard where the song structure, the melody, like the way that the songs are laid out, it just grabbed me. The guitar tones on Fear of the Dark are huge, massive. And I think that song in particular has so much special meaning for me because when you listen to the Maiden live album, you hear this incredible performance and you hear the audience singing along to the guitar tone. It's not often that you hear a whole crowd sing a guitar melody. And when I used to play in the Iron Maidens, we would have crowds from 200 people to 5,000 people to 10,000 people singing that guitar line along. I think sonically, Fear of the Dark is one of those albums that just it invites the audience to be a part of the album. It invites crowd participation, including lines in your own playing that the audience can sing along to and not just making everything a million notes per second, but creating memorable melodies like that that people can sing along to and remember. So when I was playing with the Iron Maidens, I played the Dave Murray parts. And the funniest part about that is my personal gear setup at the time could not possibly have been more different from Dave Murray. You know, Dave was kind of always using a Fender Strat. I actually did a charity event with Dave Murray. We played a song together and he had the exact same Boss GT100 that I had. So I had to take a picture and post it and say, look guys, everyone's complaining to me that I use different gear from Dave Murray, but here's my pedal board next to Dave Murray's and they're identical, so you never know. Every guitar player has their trick set. So as long as you're taking those notes and incorporating them in an original way, I think it's great to grab ideas from other people's playing.